Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. As we talked about earlier, both the Germans and the Allied forces of France and England were racing northward trying to flank each other. It was known as the Race to the Sea. Today's battle was the first to occur during this race and was called the First Battle of Picardy between Germany and France in Picardy, France on September 22nd through the 26th, 1914. German entrenchments allowed the German army the opportunity to defend with less troops than they would need normally. Elements of the German 2nd Corps from the German 1st Army were settled into those entrenchments and waited for the French 2nd Army as they crossed the Aver River. The 2nd French Army itself had been dissolved by French Commander Joffrey and reformed once again under French General Castelnau. Even with those entrenchments, the Germans were attacked on the night of September 19th and pushed back to a secondary set of trench fortifications by this newly reformed French 2nd Army. There, the Germans were able to hold the area from Ribecourt to Lassigny. The German communication line was in danger of being cut off. The Germans realized the danger and sent the 18th Corps on a 50-mile emergency march. They reached the defenses on September 23rd and immediately attacked the French forces on September 24th with the help of the 2nd Corps that was already there. As the Germans pushed forward, French Commander Joffrey sent the 11th Corps to the 2nd Army's reinforcements. This drained all the remaining French reserves, leaving them vulnerable if anything went bad. The Germans continued to push forward and forced the French 2nd Army back west of the Somme. The French had learned some tricks though and had used this time to start building their own trenches on good defensive ground. There they settled in. The Germans renewed their attack when they saw this, hoping to prevent the French from finding solid footing here by attacking Nyon. They successfully pushed the French army back slightly. This only lasted until September 25th when the French reinforcements arrived and counterattacked. This time, the French 2nd Army did a general push along the whole front from Bosques to Peronne. The end result is the Germans did not take much ground back and both the French and Germans settled into what would be a truly horrendous four years of warfare. There are no known casualty counts from either side for this battle, but judging from similar battles, it must have been tragic, especially since there was no winner or loser here. Both sides just slugged it out and then rested. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War. <laughs> <laughs>